Hi, Gary here. Don't you just love those studies on, you know, coffee was unhealthy and then it was healthy and then chocolate was unhealthy and now it's healthy? I, I don't know. So many healthy, unhealthy things around food, I, I can't ever keep them straight anymore. Today, we're looking at money as being healthy or unhealthy, your relationship with it. So, first is kind of the unhealthy side. You know, one of the things we see in this area is secrecy around money. You know, that for whatever reason, there's maybe a shame associated with it or there's it's something being taught that you never talk about money uh, because of a variety of different things. That can be problematic. Um, also, can be very careless, just spending it willy-nilly everywhere, it doesn't really matter what you spend it on, have no accountability, no intentionality, no nothing. Uh, and kind of the other part, sometimes a little cruel, you'll see people use money as leverage you know, if I give you this, then you do that. You know, if I if if you do this, I'll do that. But money's always in the transaction, and it makes you almost not want to deal with them because you always know it's going to be about money, and you don't want to have to deal with that all the time. That's kind of three unhealthy areas. Health area side would be money's just a tool. It's a tool that we use in our society, this capital society. Uh, you know, this uh, free market that we deal with to help us uh, buy goods and services. Uh, to live life and go along. Um, also, you can have a lot of fun uh, with money, meaning you can use it to, as a tool to buy different experiences, to um, give money to others, to watch them have the enjoyment of that money for things that they uh, would do that are wants out there. Um, also, you know, it's just covering needs. You know, use it as a tool, just cover all the needs out there. And then the excess that's available, then take care of those wants. And you selectively take the wants that uh, really work for you and that are healthy for you, you know, that aren't causing addiction or problems and so forth. So, you know, when you look at money, kind of see what you're doing, make an assessment of that to see if you've got these unhealthy relationships with money and maybe replace them with good, healthy habits around money and it'll make your life a lot simpler when you're dealing with money and everybody else around you and, and it kind of takes that off the table. Then you can deal with <laughs> all the food and everything else to get you healthy or unhealthy. So until next time, enjoy.